This is a quick overview of Ant's Performance Profiler's new database profiling capabilities, which help when SQL Server access causes performance issues in your .NET application. Let's start by profiling a sample application, a CRM system we've loaded with dummy data. It's an ASP.NET application using a SQL Server backend. Some of the data access is being made through Entity Framework, though everything you see here is equally applicable whether you're using other ORMs or even running SQL directly. Setup is just a matter of selecting the application, but you will want to make sure that the Enable SQL Query Profiling option is selected. After hitting Start Profiling, the application is launched for us. Performance counters in Ants give us real-time feedback about things like CPU and memory usage while the application is running, which we can use to narrow down problems to a specific period of time. For example, if I search for a contact called ants at gmail.com, we can see a small increase in CPU usage. Let's say we want to investigate the performance of loading that CRM contact page. I'll use a live bookmark to block out a period of time to investigate, then go back to the browser to refresh the page. Now that the page has finished loading, I can go back to Ants to see what happened during that period of time. The first thing Ants shows us is the application's call tree for this period. As well as seeing how methods call each other, we also see any database queries run by our application and can see exactly what code is responsible. By switching to wall clock time mode, we can also see how long those queries took and how many times they were run. That can be really helpful for spotting unnecessarily repeated database calls, which can easily happen when misusing ORMs like Entity Framework. In some cases, we might simply be concerned about how long a query took and want to debug the slow query. By clicking the Queries SQL button, we see the database view, which shows far more detail about the query and also lets us explore all of the other queries run during the same time period. We can select one of these queries and use the Plan button to fetch the cached execution plan from SQL Server and display it right here inside Ants. This execution plan is key to understanding why a query took the time it did to run. As well as being able to explore the plan in the normal way, Ants automatically picks out the most expensive and most data-heavy operations for us in this sidebar, and we can click one to be taken straight to it in the plan. Here we can see that most time was taken performing an index scan, which is an inefficient operation because SQL Server is having to look at every row in the table, so it's typically quite I.O. intensive. It might be that through better indexing, SQL Server would instead have been able to use an index seek, which would only have needed to look at the rows it returned, so it would have been far better. For any of these nodes, we can also look at their properties to see more useful information. There are also warnings which highlight certain issues for you automatically. For example, in this plan, SQL Server's Query Optimizer believes that we could reduce the total query cost by 24% by adding an index, which is consistent with what we saw by looking at the index scan node before. If you select this warning, Ant will even give you the script that you need to run to create that index should you choose to do that. This plan can also be exported so that you can come back to it later. Let's go back to the database view to see some of the other information that was available there. Runs of a stored procedure or queries are grouped together by the stored procedure's name or the text of the SQL statement. Instead of just aggregating all of this data together, you can now drill down to see the timings for individual runs of each query. You can now also see the values of any parameters that the query was run with, which lets you understand how the parameters values that you execute the query with affect its runtime. We also gather information about the server and database that a query is run against and format this information for you automatically along with the parameter information so you can copy and paste it in a running state directly into something like SSMS to debug it further. You could also use this to ask for assistance from a team member or DBA, perhaps even attaching the plan that we exported earlier. We hope you find the new database profiling functionality in Ants useful. And as usual, you can download a free 14-day trial to try out on your own application. We'd love to hear what you think, so if you have any feedback or you'd like any assistance at all, please do get in touch. Thanks for listening.